Parenting level six is the magic number. Ah! Oh. Did she just hit herself in the face? What the heck? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am Dorios and today we're back with some more of The Sims 4 Growing Together. And as I'm doing my intro, infants and toddlers cannot be left alone. Um, we're gonna send our, our infants and toddlers to daycare. Anyway, <laughs> there are some milestones that unlocked. We got the laugh milestone and the grab milestone for Daniel. Ace is off to work, but welcome back y'all as we watch a sleeping Oliver. But we are going to go ahead and have a few fun things happen today. We are gonna have another baby. And also little Miss Katie, I believe is gonna age up today. So that is very, very exciting. So let's go ahead and have you come over here and make make a cake really quick because Katie is literally aging up now and I don't want for her to be sad because she didn't have like a birthday party of any kind. Let's do a hamburger cake. Why not? I honestly don't know what all the different cakes are, but let's try the hamburger cake. Awesome. She made the cake. Let's go ahead and have her add birthday candles to it. The hamburger cake because I know a hamburger cake is quite fun. I'm also gonna just casually have her vacuum around lightly really quick so that way there's not as much dust everywhere. <laughs> there we go. Let's go ahead and have Ace help Katie blow out her candles. Blow out the candles, everyone. We made grilled cheeses as well for dinner because I felt like that was a pretty kid-friendly um, dinner. We also need to get a new table. She blew out her candles. I was talking during it. I feel like I do that a lot by accident. I never get like good cinematic shots. But there we go. Katie's aging up. Where is she going to age up? No one knows. Oop, right there. She has social level one, motor level one, and mental level one. So let's go ahead and pick an aspiration for her. We're obviously going to do a multi-skill aspiration. There's mind and body, slumber party animal, playtime cat. I kind of want to do slumber time party or slumber party animal. Wants to be the life of the party in a uniquely creative way. Interesting. And then for her trait, let's go ahead and randomize it. She is a bookworm. And there we go. She's a bookworm. She wants to be like a slumber party queen, essentially. And there's what Katie looks like to start off with. And I went ahead and gave Katie a makeover. So this is what she kind of more or less looks like now. She has a couple of different everyday outfits. And she obviously has a couple of different sleepover outfits. And she wants to, you know, be the slumber party animal. And I also just got her a new little bed bed so that way she actually has somewhere she can sleep. I will eventually put some stuff underneath it and decorate this room a bit better. We just don't have money right now and it's Wednesday so we need to save money for a couple different things. Okay, y'all, I also went ahead and gave Katie a nightlight, so that way we don't have to deal with monsters under the bed. I actually don't know if you still have to deal with monsters under the bed with the bunk beds, if I'm being quite honest, but I didn't want to have to deal with that this playthrough, so we got a nightlight for her. We've also decided to start sabotaging. I paused my recording, I forgot that I paused it. So we're sabotaging our work rival currently, and we, like, basically got him in trouble at work, and then we also had, like, a funny video made of him essentially because he, I forgot what exactly he did, but he messed up at doing something. Katie has a loose tooth. She should expect to lose it soon. Wiggling the tooth and brushing her teeth can help speed up the process. Or Katie can bite the bullet and pull the tooth out. Oh, so we have a case of wiggly tooth then, do we? First blowout milestone, lovely. Daniel just had his first blowout in his sleep. Awesome. Okay, we changed Daniel's diaper. Now Ace is gonna go give him a bubble bath really quick. And then Ace is off to work again. And hopefully we can get rid of our work rival today because I want a promotion. We need a promotion. We are not making enough money right now from either of our Sims. Apparently Rachel has gone into labor at work. Also, Daniel still has like bubbles on his head. Oh, nope, there's Rachel. Let's go ahead and have the baby at hospital. We're gonna send her alone and I don't know why we didn't get to go with her. Can you please go to work? Congratulations, Rachel just gave birth to a baby boy. I didn't have any other baby names, just Daniel, which was Danny, for boys at least, especially. So we're just gonna go ahead and randomize his name for now. Ooh, I kind of like this name, Asher, Asher Frias. Let's go to name him that. So now we have baby boy Asher, and he's over here again. Daniel just had his toe in the mouth milestone. Let's put him over here. Who's home right now? Apparently Rachel is. It looks like Asher Frias might have taken on his mother's skin tone more than his dad's, which is interesting. 
I also thought that Danny would be um, aged up before Asher was born. So that was my bad. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have her travel because let's just say that she just needs a break from her babies. So let's go ahead and travel to the community center. Everyone else is gonna get sent to daycare for a second. There we go. Now we're home, or here, not home, but we're here by ourselves. Let's say that she just wants to, you know, have a relaxed workout without her kids. Lose her baby weight, I don't know. I feel like she'd be the kind of mom that would want to lose her baby weight though. There we go. She has had a shower. She has worked out by herself. Ace just got home from work with 152 simoleons. He made a rumor that layoffs were happening again. We're gonna see if Rachel can actually do some homework grading really quick while she's here. And then we'll have her head home afterwards. Of course, she's doing it at the little kids' table, but whatever, right? Never mind. She got too tired too fast, so she's just going home this time. Hello, Kyle? He's, of course, go for it, Kyle. Date Nina Caliente. Why does that kind of make sense? That, that kind of oddly makes sense that Kyle would want to date Nina Caliente. Daniel learned how to row over to back. Woo! Let's go ahead and continue doing tummy time together really quick with Ace because... We, we just really need to. And then we can do practice sitting as well. I still don't know why Ace always takes all of the babies out into the front yard to do this. And, you know, especially because it's cold and it's raining right now. But it is what it is. He doesn't do it anywhere else in the house for some reason. I think he just learned how to sit up. We're over to tummy milestone unlocked. Nice. We're gonna do some more practice sitting. It doesn't even look like tummy time's an option anymore. Ace, can you please go over the- Why do my sims never want to do what I want them to do? I literally want to punch them sometimes. It's aggravating. Seriously, Rachel? Oh, what just happened? And he can sit up now. Can he crawl? Can you do the butt scooch? <gasps> sit up milestone unlocked. Awesome. He can actually butt scoot and stuff and we can use the high chair. Let's go practice standing with him really quick as well. Let's sweat. Does she like fitness? Because she reached motor skill level two. Sure. We can say she likes fitness. Why not? Katie apparently enjoys fitness. Rachel, I believe, just reached social level three, which means that she has achieved the level three social skill for her slumber party animal one. Now we have to attend a slumber party. Can we plan a slumber party? Let's go ahead and plan a social event. Parenting level six is the magic number. Ah! It just said that she can actually see what infants and newborns need. Oh my goodness. Okay, so level six, whenever we play this game, that's what we need to shoot for, for parenting skill, apparently. So here's the slumber party. We get adorable new sleeping bag for toddlers and gold includes one of... One for everyone else. Nice. So we need to go ahead and get all the kids together. We're going to invite Nani, Orion, Tala, and Dorothy, and even Evie. And there we go. And it's going to be our house. Oh, okay. And it's starting now. Got it. Have Sims chatting at the same time. Have Sims playing games at the same time. We don't have any games. I thought you... Don't you... Didn't you meet all of them already? What the heck? I thought you already met all of them. I thought that- Oh, the, that's her who's meeting everybody. Whoops. I was on the wrong sim. I don't know what we got to already get the first little bit of the sleeping party, but apparently we got something. With this many sims in our house, it feels like pure chaos. Especially because I can't control most of them and all of them- Anyone? I- I've always said this. I don't- I didn't want infants. I really didn't. Infants are cool. I enjoy them. They're cute. I hate anything that's like- to even toddlers. I don't even necessarily love toddlers. I'd rather have gotten a preteen rather than gotten infants, if that makes sense. Or it could have been infants, but get rid of the baby and just have it be like baby and infant as the same stage, which I guess is kind of what they did. But still, I'm just like, there's so much you have to do with infants. It's not even funny. We're going to have Katie brush her teeth really quick. We're going to see if we can get the tooth. No. We can create friendship bracelets now. What? We don't have that station. We, we needed more money to before doing this, if we're being completely honest. We're gonna go ahead and have Rachel make a party size of rice cakes, just so that way hopefully we can get that milestone of everyone eating at the same time. We're also gonna have Katie come up here and sleep really quick. Oh, she lost her tooth? I was- okay. Katie lost her tooth! She can wait a while for her new tooth to appear. 
Or can Alexa fix the missing tooth? <gasps> what? I, okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I walked away for a second and didn't realize that she lost her tooth. But I'm kind of excited that she did. That's really cool. I haven't seen that yet from anyone else's like series or on any of my like gameplay yet. Oh, we have to use the time for bed interaction. Okay, let's click on them. Oh, ask guests to set up sleeping bag. Let's go do that. Awesome. And if we click on this, is she setting it up outside? They are setting them up outside. I really don't know how to do this. We'll figure out sleeping like slumber parties eventually. Let's have her also come down here and grab a serving of food really quick. And that's three Sims eating at the same time. Nice. We, we didn't get silver, but that's fine. I was trying to. I just, I just didn't have the means to, if that makes sense. Did she just hit herself in the face? What the heck? Oh, let's go ahead and have her place her tooth under the pillow and sleep. And then it's time to head to bed. If you're lucky, when you wake up, you'll make a nice... You'll have a nice surprise from the Tooth Fairy waiting for you in your inventory. Reward earned. That summer party was all right. It seems like everyone had a fun though, right? Your Sim has received some simoleons. Nice. Did one of the parents have to? No. Okay. I was making sure that neither of the parents had to come over here to do that. All the sleeping bags are gone. Too many sleeps cause the death of your teeth. What? What does that mean? Th did she get a present or did she not get a present? I don't know. Lost her first tooth. Oh, Tooth Fairy poster and Tooth Fairy certificate. That's actually really cool. I like that. We're going to hang up the Tooth Fairy certificate above or maybe over in the bathroom because this is going to be the kid's bathroom anyways. I know we can hang it in her room. I think underneath here would be fun. And then the poster, we can put her poster like right over there. And I think that that is pretty cute. There we go. So she got some Tooth Fairy posters and things from the Tooth Fairy in the game. Nothing extraordinarily special or anything like that, but at least it was something. Something's better than nothing, right? Okay, I was doing my outro and Daniel just aged up. So Daniel's a toddler. I didn't realize it was time for Daniel to age up. What? I'm gonna randomize his trait. He is silly. Okay, that, that works, considering what his trait was before. I didn't realize that you were aging up, Daniel. What the heck? Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and deal with that in the next episode. And now, cue the outro. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and end off that episode here. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. You can check out the next episode right over there and the playlist right down below that. I think three kids is a little bit too much for me. I'm not going to lie. I'm like really struggling right now, but it might be because I didn't spread them out far enough. Either way, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye guys.